What's going on everybody? My name is Steven Rizzi Crowns here, and I'm coming at you with another episode of my NHL 14 Hockey Ultimate Team Squad Builder episode. So this episode I'm gonna be doing the like the top uh what's it called? Like top players for each position going coming into the NHL next year, so they'll be drafted in 2014 in June. So let's get this started right here. For our goalie, we have uh, where is what the oh, shoot? I think he's the OHL. Oh, there he is, Alex Nigolovic or something like that. <laughs> Sorry, I totally just pooched that name. But he plays for the Plymouth Whalers in the OHL. He has 39 games played with a 3.11 goals against average, which is pretty good. And um, Last year he got the gold ten CHL gold ten of the week, which is pretty good, and he got best OHL best rookie goals against average, which is really good, and he got the OHL first year all rookie team. So this guy is an absolute stud, Alex Ned Eljigovic. Yeah, <laughs> he is from the USA, surprisingly, even with that last name. But you know that's okay. So he's an also a stud for Plymouth. So let's move on to the left D position here. And we've got the. Oops. There he is, Bryson Martin. Yeah, Bryson. <laughs> Bryson Martin. He plays for the Swift Current Broncos in the WHL, and he's born in 1996. And in his first year with the Broncos, he got six, 19 points in 67 games, and this year he's got 21 points in 36 games. So he's a shutdown defenseman, and he played with the under-17 World Junior Team, the, in which they won silver in 2012. And then, excuse me, they won. He also, sorry, played for the under-16, uh, which is pretty good for Canada, and they won gold there. So this guy is a stud. He is a defensive D-man for a Swift Current, which is pretty cool, and. Let's go on to our, let's go right wing, because I want to get an order here of where these guys are going to rank in the draft, which I believe they're going to rank in the draft. So at right wing here we got Jake Furtanen, he is the goal scorer if you haven't heard of him. He's only 6'1", but, well I'm only 6'1", what am I saying, but he is a beast, this guy. So, in this year, in 44 games, he has exactly 44 points with, with 27 goals, which is crazy for a, a young guy in the WHL. So, he, a lot of people think know him from being like a good goal scorer and all this stuff, and he doesn't disappoint. The, he could have gone number one before Ekblad and Re Reinhardt got up there, but he's honestly a stud, so watch out for this guy in the upcoming years. So, let's go on to our left wing now. And oops, gotta find him here. Should've put the uh shoot. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. As you guys probably have not heard of this guy, maybe you have, I'm not sure, but this is Brendan Perlini. And which is kinda cool. This guy was born in England. Yeah, he was born in England, and then he moved to Ontario when he was young. So, he plays in the Niagara Ice Dogs organization, and he's born in 1996. And this guy, he is a goal scorer, this guy, Brendan Perlini. In 42 games played this season, he's got 60 points. 60 points! 28 goals, 32 assists. That is actually crazy. People are saying that he could be... Like a really good player in the NHL, he's lethal of speed. He's like it's crazy how fast he is. Just fly down the ice. I've seen him play a few times actually because I live near there. So let's go on to our centerman now. As you guys probably know, because I probably gave it away, but we've got Sam Reinhardt. A lot of you guys probably know him. Uh, he was born in Northern Vancouver. And he plays for the Kootenai Ice. And as you guys probably know, he played in the World Juniors uh, twice, I believe. Uh, yes, he got gold once in the uh, no, sorry, he in the World Under 18 Championship. He got gold and bronze in the Ivan Holinka, which is the 
under 17 he got gold in that he has not gone a medal in the juniors but he is an absolute stud and guys click on the annotations on them so you guys can see some highlights from them so who this is going to be the last person of this episode who i believe is going to go number one and that is none other than aaron ekblad aaron ekblad is a monster he is a beast he was one of the people who got the elite status to be drafted in the OHL one year younger than everyone else and this guy was the captain of his under 18 team captain of Barry and la actually lately he just got a four goal game which is pretty cool and I believe Aaron Ekblad is going to go number one in this draft so boys if you guys like this squad better please like subscribe comment and I'll see you guys next time